Why is that your beats or songs are sounding mid even if you used your fanciest plugins, sample packs and learned music theory the whole night? Well, it's due to the same reason why AI generated music will suck until ChatGPT will erase humanity. But that's another story. Sure, you can add grooves, strum chords and use ear candy, but the most powerful thing is using automations. And you know, even if I think that life is miles better than those ugly automation clips, <coughs> there are still some hacks to be revealed, which I'm about to do in this video. Okay, if you have no freaking idea what the hell I'm talking about, you can access automations by pressing A, on your keyboard. Now you have those lines and basically whichever parameter you're gonna touch and choose, like for example, the filter cutoff in Serum, it's gonna appear here. If I want to automate something, the basic form of it is just by writing some points here and there. Let's just say I want this filter to open. If you're one of those speedrunning guys or if you want to make automation as quick as possible, you can just highlight the part you want to automate, right click and then insert the shape you want. As you hover over the selection, you can see those squares and they are very useful because by dragging them, you can quickly adjust the automation. Like for example, if you want to make it longer or shorter or you want to make it less automated or let's just say more automated there we go but yeah enough of basics let me just jump to another project and show you the sauce <laughs> yeah, boy. to show you how useful this hack really is let's automate the most pain in the ass thing which are frequency or milliseconds parameters okay so i have these chords here and without automation they sound like this <laughs> Might be cool for someone, but I want to add a little bit of movement. So to do so, I decided to go with Shaper Box. As you can see, I already made some fat curves here and there. It already sounds better, but I decided to ditch the idea of making it sync to tempo and go with hertz or milliseconds. So I spent some time automating this and now the whole idea sounds like that. But why I said it's pain in the ass to do frequency or milliseconds automations. So let's just destroy the curve a little like that, for example. What the f*** is going on? As I would like to go, for example, to this value, I would need to zoom in like my grandma on her phone and then just adjust things and adjust them more. And you can do this on and on. The hack here is to get back to the value you liked, right click, edit value, and then type 0.40. There we go. And edit value 0.43. But if you easily get lost while automating the wide range, like so, you can just group the plugin with Command and G or Control G if you're on Windows, then go to parameter you want to automate, right click on it and map it to macro one. Then go to map menu. And as you can see, there are minimum and maximum values. Let's just say the slowest tempo I want to have is something. like this and the highest tempo will be and if i would like to automate something here i just click this volume macro and then It never goes above the value I set as maximum and never go below the value I set as minimum. Basically, it's a safer way to make automations like that. But let's just get back to my original automation because I want to show you something cool. Let's just say I want to automate the filter cutoff as well. All I need to do is to press this plus icon and then highlight the whole automation, copy it and paste it to another lane.
And that basically works with every single plugin, every single lane, and every single knob you have in life. So the final tip goes to all of you that like to use their MIDI controllers and knobs for making automations. Obviously, if you are a performing beast, you can make and add those automations while playing, but not everyone needs to be performing beasts. So if I want to record the filter code of automation here with the basic recording, it will look like that. It records automation, but overrides the MIDI part. All you need to do to get rid of this is press this plus button here. And that basically allows you to record different takes and different sets of automations if you have MIDI tracks already here. As you have this automation recorded, once again, that's going to be pain in the ass to adjust every single point. So to make it easy for you, all you got to do is to highlight the part you want to make some changes to and then right click and choose simplify envelope. Keep in mind that everything I showed you in this video can be applied not only in arrangement view, but also for MIDI clips audio clips and MPE envelopes, which makes it way easier to do some pitch bends and glides. And if you want to know how to use MPE to do some 808 glides, then better click this video. It's a old one, but judging by views, it's kinda useful.